Welcome back to Offered Outlaws, guys, and today we are going to be taking an in-depth look at how to build one of the trucks that I get asked more questions about on my Offered Outlaws streams than almost any other truck in my garage, and that is this, the TC Customs F350 Platinum Super Duty Tow Rig. Now, obviously, you guys can replicate the design on pretty much any truck, whatever you want to do. I do have a Platinum uh, logo on the tailgate as well. You can't really see it all that well right now, but but we'll go into the design area in the shop a little bit later on so you guys can see it. But the main things that we're going to be looking at in this video are how you can rebuild it with the suspension settings, the wheels, the axles, all of that stuff, and of course, diving deep into the tune. And if you guys are interested in how you can rebuild this first-gen drag truck, let me know in the comment section down below if you would like a video on that one as well. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get in the F-350 if we can actually get the uh, the character centered right let's hop back in and we'll head on back to the shop now really heading back to the shop all it takes is the push of a button so really it's not that long of a drive whatsoever now this truck has gone through so many different forms so many different iterations if you will and yes I know that the text is backwards on the opposite side, but I built this truck and made this design, made this wrap, if you will, before I knew how to essentially copy and paste text and logos to the other side of the truck without them being mirrored like that. So that is something that I plan on fixing in the very near future. It just isn't fixed yet. So I'm just going ahead and making you guys aware of that. Now, the actual setup on this truck. So... If we go into upgrades, you'll see that this truck is fully maxed out across the board. It's also diesel swapped and full stage 4 turbo. Now, with the stage 4 turbo and the fully built engine, you get the maximum power potential that you're going to get out of anything diesel in this game. And we're also currently running a stack in the bed, although that may change a little bit later on down the road. And we're currently running a repair pack because, as I'm sure you guys know, the toolbox conflicts with the bed stack. So, now we're going to go into to the tuning because this is where a lot of the little tiny uh, adjustments have really made this truck what it is in my opinion because I feel like we've got it dialed in now to the point to where it is just the right height, just the right tire size, and it just looks so solid. It's a mixture of tow rig, show rig, and off-road because honestly, I mean, with these tires, you still got a good bit of grip in the mud, the sand, the rocks, all that good stuff. Now, keep in mind that some of the aspects of this tune may change, but these tune, uh, these tune parameters will get you this exact truck. So, let's go into the suspension itself. We are running a Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty front and rear. And then in the suspension tuning, axis width in the front is going to be 0 .03. Damping is going to be 3,067. Now, I will say... You could go 3,000, you could go 3,100, either way you're still going to get really close to what this is. Shocks wise, we're running shock 2 with a shock size of 2.2. And then stiffness wise, we're running 14.8 or 14,800 in the front in terms of stiffness. And then travel is maxed out at 0 0.7 in the front with the axle type being 0 and the brake type being 0. Now let's move on to the rear of the truck. Now, axis width in the back is going to be 0.09 with a damping level of 3,088. Again, 3,000 or 3,100, whatever one you can get closer to is going to be the best way to replicate this build. And then rear steer wise, none, obviously. Shocks, shock two with a uh, shock size of 2.2. Stiffness wise in the back, we're running 40,000. Now, the reason why we're running 40,000 in the back is because obviously we do a lot of trailer towing with this truck, and I didn't want the front end to just go to the moon the second I put weight behind it. And then travel in the back is 0 0.55 with a brake type of zero and an axle type of zero. Now, that's going to go through and walk through all of the suspension tune parameters for the truck. Now, we're going to get into wheels and tires. Now, in the front, the wheel size, or I should say rim size, is set to 1.5, which is max. Radius is a 1.2 with a width of 1.5. Now, in the back, with the duals, we're running a wheel size of, again, 1.5 with an incredibly deep dish, by the way. Wheel radius, again, coming in at 1.2, and wheel width is 1.5. Now, let's move on into the actual gear tuning. 
Now, the gear tuning is an ever-evolving thing on this truck, and it's definitely not final, but that doesn't mean that we can't use it as a good baseline. Now, I find that this tune tows pretty well. It's not the best yet, but it does tow well enough that it's not struggling under the weight, and also, when you take the trailer off, it freaking flies for a lifted truck. So, first gear is going to be 3.2, second gear is going to be 1.4, third gear is going to be 1.0, fourth point eight and fifth point five it's not like i said it's not done yet in the gearing department don't take those gearing numbers as a gearing recommendation those are just what is on this particular truck at the moment in an ever evolving setup so let's go back again and dyno run wise obviously we've already got a perfect setup on it and we'll go ahead and run the dyno just so you guys can see what it makes but it's gonna make about the same baseline as what most diesels in this game make and there you go, as you can see, max horsepower 705 and max torque 1186. Now let's go back now, and VR test rig, I don't really use that all that much, but in terms of flex, even though this is a tow rig, check out the flex in the front end. I mean, it is, it's pretty substantial. You can keep going up, that's 20 degrees right there, and we haven't picked the front or the rear off the ground yet. The front tire picks up off the ground, right at 24 degrees of flex which is i mean that's a lot especially considering how incredibly stiff the back of the truck is the front end can really make up for it i think we'll give her a quick drop test not bad you could definitely tell that the rear is obviously a lot stiffer because the front takes a little bit longer to return and I could probably do a little bit more tuning to dial that in correctly. But now we're going to go into the visual aspects of this truck build. Now, as you can see, the body is actually pretty stock in terms of things like bumpers and lights and stuff like that, apart from the light bar, which I wanted because in the new update, obviously you can drive around at night in night mode and you need all the extra light that you can get now in terms of flags on the left we've got just a little offered outlaws flag and i'll show you guys what the parameters of this one are it's not necessarily a it's not necessarily a huge flag but and it's also not tilted at all and the flag stock length is not really modified i've i will say though i've sized up the flag a little bit and then obviously used the the arrows to move it over here to the left side of the truck bed now in terms of the antenna What's weird about this is that it says I don't have one, but I very clearly have one. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it, it, okay. Never mind. It just doesn't fill that box. I always forget that it doesn't fill that box. Either way, we're running this material here, and we have a blue LED light set, which is on max brightness, I believe. Yeah, max brightness on that blue to match, of course, the dish of the wheels and the painted suspension components, as well as our Super Duty badge. Now... In terms of the mods themselves, I'm not going to apply these because we didn't change anything, but axle color wise, just go ahead and give you guys an overview right here. We've got that set all the way to white on the primary color and the secondary color is right here set pretty much all the way to full brightness on the blue as well. There's really no color options on this truck that are super, super tricky to dial in. A lot of them are just set it to the max and go. Now, wheels-wise, we are running the, I would say from the right, we are running the fifth option, and these are some of my favorite new wheels in the game. They are very similar to a set of wheels in No Limit Drag Racing 2.0, but when you throw these wheels on a dually, you get an insane amount of dish in the back. It's, it's actually super impressive. And the spokes are going to be a chrome blue with a slightly dialed back um, saturation, I believe. And then, as far as the bead goes, it's just a pure chrome. Now, in the front, once again, the bead is just pure chrome, and the spokes are going to be about that same blue. So now, moving along into the actual decal setup, you've got the TC logo right there on the bedside, which is super easy to make. It's just a, really, a little octagon, and the, uh, the TC logo in black text. Then on the bottom, we've got this in a slightly different font. I believe this is the second font on the list for TC Customs down on the rocker panel. We got Super Duty right up there on the side of the hood slash fender. And then, of course, the F-350 badge. Now, I will say, yes, I know that this truck model is based off of an F-450 and not an F-350. But sometimes I like to go outside of what this truck is supposed to be because I just wanted this thing to be a 350. It's just in my head, 
it made more sense and then of course we've got the platinum logo right there across the tailgate normally it would be right here in the middle but in offered outlaws that is not a paintable surface because it is chrome so now all we got to do is we got to go back out to the yard and i'm going to show you guys some of the best things that this truck can do like some of the things that this truck really does well that at the end of the day still impresses me considering the fact that it was built originally as just a tow rig it was built as a shop truck it was built to be something that normally you wouldn't use for you know you wouldn't use for a lot of general off-roading but I use this truck a lot. I would say in terms of tow rigs and general purpose trucks, I probably use this truck right now more than any other truck in my garage. Now, will I continue to do that? I'm not sure, but that all depends on what other trucks we build and what other trucks may or may not come out later on down the road. So who knows with that one? Now, currently we are loading into Twin Rivers Lake by One Man Wolfpack. And with our truck being fired up and ready to go, now it's time to get to some driving. Now, I think with our trailer, we're pretty much, yeah, we're pretty much level. I'll bump it up literally to like one more inch up. And three, two, one, let's go. I will say it's a little sluggish getting out of the hole, but I think we can fix that with some gearing later on down the road. Now, let's go ahead and make a little bit of a wide turn here and we'll head out towards town. Now, as you can see, it's not the fastest tow rig in the world, but when you have a, you know, a full-size gooseneck and a heavy old first gen on the trailer itself, I mean, you're gonna be, you're, you're gonna be having to work for it. And I know we're only going 25, but on this little country back road, it ain't bad. And that's where I was saying I could definitely, uh, definitely use some gearing adjustment later on down the road. The gearing is by far the most work in progress aspect of this particular truck, but I'm sure that once we get there, it'll be A-OK, -okay, be all good to go, no worries whatsoever. But this map, I highly recommend you guys check it out because it is a map that we use a lot in the live streams because it has a, uh, it has like basically a main street that you can use for drag racing. It's also got a highway. It's got a convention hall that you can use for like truck shows. It's got shops that you can go inside of. It's got a, a massive like resort hotel that you can go inside of. It's got a bunch of different houses. It's got this huge neighborhood and the RP possibilities on this map are basically limitless. They, they genuinely are so incredibly limitless that it, it's not even funny. I mean, I don't even believe that with even how much I have used this map, I don't even believe I have even scratched the surface of what this map is actually capable of in terms of what it can be used for. So let's actually throw this gooseneck in here. Give the first gen a nice little place for some safekeeping. Go ahead and detach it. And now you guys get to see what this truck is actually like without oh geez i cannot see where i'm going but yeah you guys get to see what this thing can actually do and what it's all about now that we've pulled the trailer off of the back so at this point i mean this thing is just ready to rip now let's see what we can do in terms of doing a little bit of wheeling bro it's so fast it is way faster than it should be for a big lifted dually it really truly is like very few lifted dualies are this fast. Even in like off-road outlaws, it just, it feels a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie, but like whenever you get going in this thing, bro, you're gone. You are absolutely gone the second you put your foot down. You know what I think we're gonna do? Actually, we're gonna make a little impromptu trail out of these rocks over here. Now, let's see. Did we get any damage from that? No, we did not. All right, beautiful. So. Let's, dude, you can already see that that freaking front flex is already going to work. All right. Now, the approach angle with that front bumper is going to be a little iffy, but... Oh, dude. It just walks right up whatever you want it to. Okay. And to be honest, I haven't done all that much, like, four-wheeling with this thing. And whatever you actually do... You kind of, well, you realize real quick that it needs a different bumper because this uh, this show truck bumper setup is not the best. But, I mean, man, the actual grip on the rocks is wild. It's freaking gnarly. We put it in a little bit of a hole there, but it's absolutely insane. Uh, 
Well, we built a bridge. Now people can drive across us. There wasn't a bridge here before, but it definitely now works as one. So let me actually go ahead and go back to the shop and conclude this little build tour of our F450. And if you guys enjoyed it and you would like to see more videos like this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And also, if there are any vehicles that you see in my garage that you would like a full tour and breakdown of, once again, leave any and all of those questions and, uh, and suggestions in the comments down below. That's going to do it for this one, though, y'all, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. See y'all later.